एवरीवन आई एम अक्षता मोकाशी आई एम एन आर्टिस्ट एंड वी वर बेस्ड इन मुंबई वाल आई वाज स्टडिंग माय मास्टर्स इन फैशन एंड टेक्सटाइल्स इन स्कॉटलैंड जॉन एनिस द क्यूरेटर ऑफ जर्नीज इन डिजाइन गिव मी अ वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वर्क विद हिम एंड इंप्लीमेंट माय प्रैक्टिस इन वीविंग एंड इंटरेस्ट इन वेलबीइंग इंक्लूसिविटी अलोंग विद द आर्डन एंड स्टोरीज एग्जीबिशन फॉर आवर अपकमिंग प्रोजेक्ट मेकिंग वेल I would be guiding you with the online weaving workshops. They are mostly fun, fun activity, which uh, you can use your creativity and engage in this meditative act of weaving, as well as have fun with all the materials around your house. So, before uh, we meet on Thursday, I would like to give you a little brief about what tapestry weaving is, and what kind of resources you might find at home. So, a tapestry. is a woven form of art it's a um, it's a form of woven painting in the medieval and renaissance times tapestries um ad- adorned beautiful like courts and palaces the walls were adorned with tapestries uh with the intricate details they also uh, gave insulating properties and uh, mostly woven with wool and silk um creating like big wall pieces of paintings but with but woven with hand so i fell in love with this form of art because of my passion for painting it is uh, tapestry uh, gives a deeper connection as you go down to the structure and you weave each thread by your hand and experience it while it while you watch it you watch it grow and until it attains a final big picture so come along i'll show you some of my tapestries so inspired by nature and landscape i have woven these with um uh, dyed wool and cotton as you can see i have used a frame for uh, weaving it and i have woven this in different layers there are about 6 layers in this and i've used different material like wool jute cotton what i also like about weaving is um the feel it gives with its tactile nature you experience um each and every thread the blending of fibers to to form a texture it connects from within and it communicates with your own self the process lets you <laughs> experience this so i hope you would like to experience some of this as well moving on to our uh, weaving workshop <laughs> here are some of the uh, ideas for resources you might find at home but um these are just ideas and uh, you can go you can go wild with it you can try you can find anything you like at home and just um try it out so to start with uh, we would require a structure for weaving so the structure could be either a frame you can join the uh, you can make this by joining pieces of wood together or you can experiment with different shapes uh these are some metal rings and embroidery ring i've just wrapped around with thread but um you can go wild you can use a boomerang a cycle tire works but don't worry if you don't want to be very wild with the ideas um you can also use a cardboard so i've just used an old um book cover and i've made these notches at about a centimeter distance so as to keep your threads intact so these are some ideas for your structure of the loom now what goes inside the loom is uh the warp and the web so the warp is basically the set of threads that is they they are like the spine for your weaving so <clears throat> remember uh, so you can um, it's important to have some kind of rope maybe like jute 
or uh, thick rope, wires, but something that is strong and that can uh, that can form your warp. For the web, you can try all sorts of um, material. There is some newspaper and magazine cuttings here. I have uh, cut out plastic stripes as well. There are fabric stripes. You can also cut fabric and twist them together to make like a colorful band. Or you, from your garden, you can use all sorts of wild weaving material. <laughs> and finally, uh, some basic tools you would re require are scissors, a comb, and a wooden stick or a wooden uh, uh, rod, but it's not necessary. If you have it, it's a bonus. But for the warp, uh, try to find a twine or uh, some kind of rope. So that's it, folks. But you can try whatever you can and just think out of the box. And um, I'm excited to see what you come up with. So um, looking forward to see you on Thursday with me and John and I hope you will have a fun filled session with us. Thank you so much.